Earth, like many other rocky objects in the solar system, has been devastated by asteroids in the past, some of which even affected the evolution of life. Sixty-six million years ago, a nearly nine-mile-wide asteroid collided with Earth, sparking a mass extinction that wiped out most dinosaurs and three-quarters of the planet's plant and animal species. Asteroids are large, rocky bodies that orbit the Sun. They range from a few to hundreds of meters in diameter. Late one night in June 2004, with a small dot swimming into view through the optics of the Kitt Peak National Observatory in the mountains of Arizona. Astronomer Fabrizio Bernardi and two of his colleagues flagged the dot as a possible newly discovered asteroid and confirmed its space rock status in short order. The asteroid was intriguing but unremarkable an object with a width of a few hundred meters, about 170 million kilometers from Earth. It was not particularly interesting at that point. Six months later, a preliminary appraisal of the object's orbit would shock the world. Analysis at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California suggested the asteroid had a 1 in 37, or 2.7%, chance of hitting Earth in 2029. This was the highest probability ever found for a sizable asteroid strike in recorded history, and the object was big enough that its impact could devastate entire regions. It was the most dangerous asteroid discovered so far. The asteroid would come to be called Apophis, after the Egyptian god of destruction. Apophis is a space rock, about 1,000 feet or 340 meters across. Calculations in recent years have proven the asteroid will safely glide past Earth in both 2029 and 2036. In 2029, Apophis should pass at a nominal distance of 19,662 miles from the Earth's surface. That's in contrast to the Moon's average distance of about 250,000 miles. And it's closer than many Earth-orbiting satellites. As the asteroid encounters Earth's gravitational field in 2029, one result could be asteroid quakes on Apophis. This passage will also change the orbit of Apophis slightly. Not everyone will be able to see Apophis in 2029. If you are in Australia, Southern Asia, Southern Europe, or Africa, you will have a front row seat to see this asteroid when it is at its brightest. As the asteroid moves farther from the Earth and dims, it becomes visible in Eastern South America as evening falls along the east coast of North America, the asteroid will be a telescopic object located in a part of the sky about 15 degrees north of the Pleiades. It took several more years of studying this asteroid to learn it would not strike Earth in 2029. The fact is, an asteroid's orbital path can be changed slightly every time it passes near another astronomical object. And it can be changed by what's called the Yarkovsky effect, a minor push on the asteroid caused by sunlight. Both are known effects. 
but astronomers can determine the extent of these effects only after careful measurement of an asteroid's positions over the course of years. And observing this asteroid year after year isn't as straightforward as you might think. Some years, the asteroid isn't observable because it appears too close to the Sun, as seen from the Earth. So astronomers imaged Apophis extensively whenever it was visible. And by 2006, they were able to determine that Apophis won't hit the Earth in 2029. But what about the next close approach in 2036? That possibility was eliminated in 2013. For now, Apophis poses no immediate threat to Earth. But in 2029, for a brief moment, it will fire a warning shot as it breezes through our skies, followed closely by at least one inquisitive observer. Learning as much as we can about this object now rather than later, when the situation could be far more urgent, may be the best hope for avoiding some far future catastrophe. Apophis is now in a part of the sky that is not observable from Earth. It will remain so until we see it again in 2029.